Oh, hat, gloves, and of course a smartphone. I use it every second. Bailey, like so many young New Yorkers, has been swept into the digital revolution of the past decade. No more landline, high-speed 3G internet, and a laptop have transformed her daily routine and her professional life. We actually stopped having formal meetings. We just do things through email because it's so much easier. You know, all of our flyers and our invites go through the internet. Our website with all of our information, I don't even know, I guess people used to mail them. The man with a million gadgets, David Pogue, writes about technology for the New York Times. He looks back on major inventions of the past 10 years. I'd start with the iPod, which completely changed the music industry. I would choose the flip camcorder, which changed how we record our video. This has one third of the camcorder market. Uh, I would say GPS. And finally, I would say the app phone. Uh, this is, by this I mean the iPhone and the Droid and the Palm Pre. One must not forget second generation internet. The technology that made way for the emergence of new forms of communication like blogs, Facebook, and Twitter. What it does is, that's really amazing is it, it connects people who have similar interests, even very narrow interests, who would never meet each other. They would never be able to connect any other way. Writers at one of the U.S.'s top tech-savvy magazines agree, and they say absolutely a, everyone is folding the new technologies into how they live their lives. People simply don't exist in a non-digital world uh, at all. Even, even grandmothers and um, Luddites um, all have tools and devices, even if they don't realize that they're using, which connect them to a digital world. It's a digital world where more than three billion people have cell phones, and one out of five has access to high-speed internet. But the U.S. is not a leader in the field. The country ranks 28th worldwide in terms of average internet connection speed, with South Korea at number one.